One thing that can be really helpful in working with anger in, in terms of preventing those unwanted consequences is things is to sort of recognize what anger's like. Anger's really interesting. There's a lot of scientific studies that look at the nature of anger and there's some interesting things. So it's designed to motivate us to respond right now. So there's a feeling of urgency that comes up with anger, like I gotta do something now. And so one thing I ask clients all the time is, okay, next time you notice the anger coming up, if you get just a second, right? Particularly before it builds too high, ask, is this feeling of urgency? Do I really need to do something right now? Or is this just what anger feels like? 90% of the time, it's what anger feels like. I think part of dealing with anger is giving ourselves permission to not figure it out while we're angry, because whatever solution we come to, as Johnny says, is not going to work anyway, right? When, when I was working with the guys in the prison, we realized that working with anger, there's a rhythm to it. And the rhythm is when the situation triggers the anger and you notice anger coming up in you, you shift your focus from the situation to the anger. You work with your own emotions first, slow things down, do whatever you need to do to feel a little safer, and only then approach the situation. I told you about my music room a little earlier. I, it's been a while since my wife and I had a big fight. It doesn't happen very often, but I remember a couple years ago, I don't even remember what the topic was, but it was, I was <laughs> angry and I caught it before I got really angry. And I said, I'm, I've got to go. I just, I can't do this right now. I, now is not the time for me to have a conversation. So I went down to my music room, closed the door, put on a record. And I sat there for about 20 minutes just, and I'm starting to soften, but it was still, I was in it. I wasn't ready. And my wife comes and knocks on the door and opens up and said, can we talk? And I, I said, actually, no, right now I need, I need a little more time. I'm not there yet. So, you know, if you'll, I'll, I'll just come to see you in a little bit, but not right now. And then she left and I want to make it clear when, when I, when I asked her to leave, I wasn't pushing her out. I was keeping me in. Because in that moment, I knew there was nothing coming out of me that was going to be helpful at all. And so I think part of it is giving yourself permission to not solve it right now, to say, right now, my job is, is to manage my emotions. And I'll figure that the future version of me who's not completely angry and isn't crippled by that anger, who's able to think and do all the things, he'll handle that. 